So Michael, start of um, hopefully a, a successful and enjoyable three weeks for you. How are you looking forward to the, the tournament now? Yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to the tournament. It's um, been a long build up, waiting for it. But I think all the boys are, are ready to go and uh, really looking forward to, to playing in it. There's a number of boys as well that you're, you're really familiar with from club level as well. The likes of Jack Cork and Ryan Bertrand and uh, Scott Sinclair will also be involved. All Chelsea, all Chelsea lads, Daniel Sturridge. Good to good to see them and get together with them, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, especially because obviously we're pretty much going our different ways after the tournament. Uh, obviously, playing for the 21s, like all the boys will miss it, obviously, getting together and that. But um, no, it's obviously really good to have boys that I've played with my, most of my life and uh, grown up with here. You're one of the few lads as well who's experienced this this uh, European Championship before you that in uh, Sweden two years ago. What can the lads look forward to and what, what are you looking forward to most about the experience? Uh, just playing against high quality opposition like obviously when we played Germany in the final they had some great players that have obviously kicked on now and playing for teams like Real Madrid so uh, obviously it's good to, be, to play against uh, quality players and the experience of playing in a big tournament is, uh, is massive anyway. Does that defeat to Germany in the final, does that make you even more hungry um, for, for success this time? Yeah, definitely to get so close and to let it slip at the last hurdle and like obviously yeah, really want to win this tournament especially because obviously I won't be able to play 21s anymore so it'll be a really big thing for me to, to win this. Will it be an emotional time for you when the, when the um, final game actually, actually ends and uh, you've, your under 21 time is, is over? It won't, be emo it won't be emotional, but obviously, hopefully that the last game will be the final game and ho hopefully we'll, we would have won that, so ho hopefully it'll be a proud moment for me. And uh, you're talking about your new club as your one chapter ends with um, the 21s, a new chapter will begin in Germany for, for Hamburg. What, what made you uh, make the decision to move over there? What, what was it so, why was it so attractive? Uh, it's just a different kind of experience. Obviously, there's not many English boys out there and... I know, I know Hamburg's a massive club and that's what really attracted me to, to, to go out there anyway but um, I know I'm going to be playing games and I, I think the football will suit me as well and I'm really looking forward to, to going out there. And was there any opportunity for you to, to stay in England or was, or was it an, was the idea of moving to Germany something that really uh, inspired you? Uh, I, I, yeah, I think the, the Germany move was like big for me. I, I really did want to go as soon as that was kind of put on the table in front of me, so um, no, I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, before that though, we've got the serious thing of uh, trying to win this European Championship. How confident are you and how confident are the rest of the team? Uh, the boys have come on so much and we've got so much depth in the squad and we've got some great players here. Obviously we've got some great players missing as well that, that aren't, that aren't going to feature in a tournament, but I think the boys are really up for it and I'm pretty sure we can go on and win it.